back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we completed Lawrence's quest thing, paralog of a jigger. It's time we have the Sword and, and Shield of Cirrus. I don't remember doing this one. I may have, very well, have done this one. Nights. Well, surely. Ah, Professor, excellent timing. So what's going on? Alois, you're not going to suggest we send students, are you? I mean, students just stopped a civil war in the Western Alliance, so we could probably handle this. <laughs> I am, actually. Do you have a problem with that? I do. We can't send them out on a knight's mission without Rhea's blessing. I'm sure I can get the go-ahead. I'll just say the students have a new field training opportunity or something like that. Besides, we'll be there. We're not going to let them get killed by pirates. So, what are you all talking about? Yeah, I think I have done this one actually, but oh well. at the center of House Regan's territory. Yep, we've done this one. Oh well, let's do it again. The Merchants Association sent a request via the Eastern Church asking for protection. Eastern Church. You haven't heard of the Eastern Church? I suppose it's because they don't have much of a presence. The Eastern Church controls Eastern Fodlum. They don't have a standing army like we do. So, for incidents like this, they customarily ask for help from the Central Church. I imagine they want to contribute to make their presence known in the Alliance. Uh, be that as it may, we Knights are quite busy. We don't have personnel to spare. Therefore, we're enlisting your help. You should have some experience dealing with pirates from your mercenary days, right? Uh, I may. I don't quite remember. The students have dealt with pirates, so this shouldn't be a problem for them. Come with us, won't you? Think of it as a training exercise. The Merchants Association will reward us handsomely. We don't have time to lose. When these paralogs pop up, you have the full month to fulfill them. But because of how this works, you can do two of them. that just buzzed. Let's see. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, sure. Yeah, I have done this one, actually. Just gotta route the pirates. Anything interesting I should be looking for? Hold the line, keep them out. I don't want Marianne on the front. These three can handle it. But I want Marianne close to Ash, so those three can handle it. And this set here is fine. Well, let's go to the marketplace. Welcome. For Ash. Who is best archer? Oh, Lysithia, you're taking a support role. Okay. As is Flane and Catherine. Okay. You need a bow. you a shield. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Violet, you're getting a new shield. Is 
Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Come back. Is Claude in my group? No, but he needs to be. You know, Raphael, you take a little break. Yeah, you know what, Claude? You're you're pretty good. You're mandatory on a lot of stuff, so you just you enjoy your time off. Oh, Lysithia, you'll be able to make use of that. You've got the Grester Claws. Crest. Shields aren't typically that useful, but any extra defense is fine by me. Annette, it's you need to switch up for Lysithia. Is Annette even in my group? No, she is not. I want to spellcaster. Hmm. Well, you actually have you're actually on support, so that's got to do. And we'll burn this town to the ground. <laughs> Almira, of course. The Almira Navy. This is going to be tougher than I expected. They're obviously bluffing, but it's, it's the knights! It would be a disaster if they We've got Hold the line. Essentially. Stay focused. I stand ready. Who, me? Should I have held back? This really is not a hard mission. Suck. Oh, I can give you an advanced upgrade now. I'll give it my all. Who, me? To work. Let's get to it. I got this. I'll get this. Oh, hmm. You have the evasion ring. I forgot about that. We'll just keep that equipped for now, and I'll trade that. Actually, I'm going to start moving that over to Leone. Oh, and I have you under control. Thank you. This will take some strategy. Yeah, if you actually hit, that is. Each battle, a chance to grow. Sorry, don't know my own strength. Go. Should have trained better. Oh, you have flying on your support. That's interesting. Not good enough. Oh, that's not good. Ash, get over there. Oh, 
Why am I even here? Don't like opening up my defense like that, but they can't step in. He is going to go for field. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's actually acceptable. Frozen Lance. Okay. You're outclassed. Hold the line. Ooh. Don't apologize, Hilda. I think. Yeah, I'm definitely tougher. Actually hit that is and nope. Oh yes, damn. And my dad's messing with my dog. It's all in good fun. They're just. Or there might actually be somebody outside. Hey, give me one second, please. Back to holding the line. Actually, now I could probably press forward. That was tough. Yeah, those are really debilitating. Should I have held back? I'm gonna start pressing the little fort a little bit. All do our part. Now. Can we just stop having that, please? Thank you for dodging. Kindly kill him, please. Wow, you really could have done a better job at that. expected. Ah! Felix, you gotta open with the crits, bro. Dodge would have also been really nice there. 
Thank you. Why am I even here? Nicely done. Stay vigilant. Next time, bring your friends. I'm good now. Time to push forward. Please just miss. Naturally. Yes, the sword of the creator is very effective. Is that my... Oh no, I have grounder. That's what's effective here. Wow, that is just very underwhelming. Making good use of that steel shield. Not good enough. Too easy. God, no, no, no! I do not need to lose Lawrence. Oh, thank you, Flame. But you're gonna fall back to that healing tile as quick as you can. Well, I fuck you up. You're dead. That is that. I did that in the wrong order. Next time, bring your friends. 
Looks like we're about to get us a swords master. To work. I got this. Ready and able. Appreciate it. Stay focused. Who, me? I keep trying to hold up. Yes, you can. I got this. Is that all that needs to be done, or do I actually need to route out the enemies? Nope, that was it. That's over with. They were a lot more trouble than I expected. Thank you so much. Here's your reward. Please take it. Very nice. To the convoy. Uh, I'll be taking make use of that soon. A seraph robe is actually a really good item. Did I just not save before that? Oh. Great. Hope this recording doesn't fuck up. Good gracious. In reality, it doesn't matter that much because, like I said, we're shown this. Unnecessary confusion by disguising themselves as all Myrans. Ah, we taught the pirates a lesson, though. That should calm them down a bit. I know this was more than you signed up for. They may have been Almirans. Really Could have been Almiran pirates. It was good training. Thanks for your help. This can't be how you were expecting your day to go. Patient and understanding. Just like Captain Gerald. We owe you a token of our appreciation, I think. Take the reward from the Merchants Association. Share it with your students if you like. I can't accept that. Take it. We'll collect our reward from the Eastern Church. Besides, Alois could never keep it for himself. Of course not. We knights serve as the sword and shield of Saint Saros herself. We pride ourselves on our integrity. We reject all rewards that are not perfectly legitimate. In other words, he's a coward who would feel guilty and lose sleep over it. Not necessarily. Shamir is a mercenary. To her, a paycheck's a paycheck. Our Louise is more duty driven. <laughs> That's also one of his many merits. Shamir, you don't mince words. Though it does seem like you've learned how to show a little respect. Must have learned that from you. I don't remember teaching you that. Anyway, Professor, keep the compensation. I'd say you've earned it. I kind of want to see Those their support. Really I want to see Shamir and Alois support and together, and I'm going to work on that. They're not so good at trading blows. Ugh. Yeah, he likes bad jokes, but I kind of love this trading guy. Trading blows? They <laughs> and merchants, they... <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. We have to prepare for our next mission. Until next time, Professor. I've only been going 20 minutes. I can go a little longer. This would be a boring video. This was an easy... That's a really easy mission. I know how bows work. Stop telling me how bows work, you simple-minded imbeciles. Actually, no. This would probably be a good place to end this because... You know, I'll work to the next week because I'm going to do those other paralogs then. Oh, actually, no. I got to the end of the month. Let me look at the calendar. Whenever it loads, that is. I am doing those other paralogs off camera because I've already shown them. Some of them twice. Oh yeah, I got plenty of time. Uh, instruct manually because everyone's going to have enough energy to do it. Instruct. 
Claude, you've got to work on your authority, my friend. Actually, let's get your axe skills up. Let's do this. There we go. I'm surprised. Diamond axe. I... I'm gonna have to try that. Lawrence, work on your magic, man. I'm gonna change you to more of a mage role because, well, you're a mage. Hilda, you've got to get better at authority. You've got to get better at leading people. If you're going to be leading troops, you got to get better at it. Why do you? You know what? Let's go for it. Good at like magic, and I love you. I love that about you. But you gotta get your reason up. That was that was oh. I... Leone, just keep doing what you're doing. I think you need what do I need to make you a paladin? Let's get some more authority under your belt. Nope. <laughs> I... I enjoy a good ghost story, but I've never seen a ghost in real life. I would love to have that experience for myself, even just once. Well, maybe you should walk the monastery late at night. Hmm. He's just shaking his head. Professor. Uh, no. I don't really like... Well, sure, it, it happens, it happens, but I don't really like mortal savants. Catherine would like to speak with me, sure. Hmm. I wonder why. I'm sorry, what now? Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? Because I'm the protagonist. Strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Oh no, don't hold back or anything. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship? Unprecedented. It is? I just don't get it. I'm flummoxed as to why she holds you in such high esteem. And it's not like just anyone can wield the sword of the creator. I mean, that's kind of probably why she favors me so much, because I can. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlan. They call the him the Blade Breaker. The Blade Breaker? The Blade Breaker. The Blade Breaker. I can English. I don't really know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. Maybe that's it. Gerald used his influence to help you. I really doubt that. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. Well, you're a strange one, Catherine. 
Maybe I'll... I wouldn't mind seeing more of that. I got to the 26. Oh, my God. Mary Ann would like to speak with me. Um, Professor? What is it? There's something I need to say. What is it? I'm happy to listen. Thank you. How should I put this? I don't seem to be getting along with everyone. I don't contribute much either. That is a lie. Is a to you, Professor? If so, I'll leave. Of course, my adoptive father may not understand. But if I must... You are no burden. In your adoptive father. Oh, my adoptive father is one of the new nobles of the Alliance. His territory is to the north. He was a distant relative who took me in after my parents vanished. He's blessed with great drive and ambition. Some may go so far as to call it avarice. That doesn't make sense. Uh, I think you mean pride. Avarice is greed. Drive and ambition are prideful notions, not greedy notions. Yes, greed can certainly fuel your ambitions, but the two are not inherently related. So, I don't know if that's just a mistranslation, or if the writers just don't know what avarice is, but that still doesn't make sense because there's a thing called Google. So, I don't know. He wishes to marry me off to a powerful noble. That's why he sent me to the academy. Well, I'm trying to ship you with Ash, so he will inherit Lenato's territory. And any, anyway, maybe I'm just being pedantic about... Yes, I know I'm being pedantic. That's not what that word means. If I left now, I'm sure he'd have a strong opinion about it. Oh, sorry. I strayed away from the topic. I'm not good at telling stories either. What are you saying? Oh, of course. Where was I? So, as I was saying, are you sure I'm not bothering you, Professor? You're not a bother. In any way, shape, or form. You are an asset to my class. Oh, I'm so grateful to hear you say that. What I'm trying to say is, you should keep your distance. I'm more trouble than I'm worth. I want to know more about you. I don't agree to that. I want you close. You only say that because you don't know the real me. I want to know the real you. I'm sorry. I have to go. Did she cause her parents' disappearance? Does it have to do with her crest? I need answers. For the two of us, this will be... Dear God. That would... I think... Experience is... E My efforts have borne fruit. Swordbreaker! Better than before. There's so much left to learn. Aha! Uh -huh. Rescue! I'm going to explore the monastery now. Because I want to see if I have any more supports. And I do. Including one with Byleth and Rhea. Welcome, Professor. Okay, that's how this I start this. This is the first this. time I have welcomed you here, is it not? <laughs> there is no need to be nervous. Please, come closer. I'm used to the other supports where they just sort of happen naturally. Room. You are not speaking with the Archbishop, but with Rhea. It's just me. I'm still a bit nervous. What a sweet child you are. I'm 24. <laughs> My apologies. I should not be treating you like a child. Please don't. As Gerald's kin, somehow you don't seem at all a stranger to me. Speaking of Gerald, may I ask if he ever spoke of me to you? 
Uh, he said you were a bit frightening. Why? <laughs> but that does sound like something Gerald would say. However, one would be remiss to not take circumstance into consideration. In order to rise to the role of Archbishop, one must maintain an unbiased approach to judgment. It oft requires a certain sternness of words and actions. However, I believe that the person who stands before you now is no longer frightening. At least, that is my hope. <laughs> you seem a, like a genuine Since person. Shall I tell you about the Gerald that I knew? By the look of it, you haven't heard much about his time at the monastery, have you? When I first met Gerald, he was quite young. Why, he could not even grow a full beard at that point. On one fateful occasion, the band of mercenaries he belonged to fought alongside the Knights of Seraphs. I was traveling with the Knights at the time, and Gerald jumped in front of an attack meant for me. He was gravely wounded, on the verge of death. I tended to his wounds in a desperate attempt to save his life. Thankfully, my efforts were not in vain. Gerald managed to escape a seemingly certain death. I made arrangements for him to receive further care at Garrick Mock. The moment he was deemed fully recovered, I invited him to join the Knights. I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me that. Well, it is not a story I have often repeated. Even at the monastery, there are not many who know that. I tell you this because, to me, you are the child of the one who saved my life all those years ago. Well, Violet is the child. Is his child. Yes? Never mind. It is nothing. I simply wanted to say that I trust you. By coming to visit with me today, you have... Well, suffice it to say that my day is brighter than it otherwise would have been. I thank you for that. Lorenz and Ignatz. That's interesting. Ignatz, let us take a short break. I will pour tea. Please choose a teapot for us to use. You want me to pick one? Why does it matter what teapot you use? I don't see any other Ignatz around here, do you? Go on now, we're wasting time. The pots are over here. I will leave the selection to your judgment. Ah, let's see. Okay, Ignat, not Ign uh, Lawrence seems like a very genuine person. He just also this? seems genuinely full of himself. That's rather plain. Why did you choose that one? The tea you chose has a very subtle taste, as well as a smooth, light texture. Such an unassuming tea calls for an unassuming pot, and one that complements the tea's color. In addition, the pot I selected has a floral design. Although we can't go for a walk today, we can still bask a little in nature's beauty. Very interesting. You know, you have an absolutely marvelous aesthetic eye. Well, he's an Precisely artist. What I would expect from the son of a merchant house that has enjoyed the Gloucester's patronage for so many years. After we graduate, when you begin your trade, by his by patronage, he means taxation. And oh, by taxation, I mean theft. But I'm afraid I'm already on the path to becoming a knight. Ah, right. You are a second son. Still, your eye for beauty is a talent that should not go. I'm only sort of joking about that last statement. If you are to be a knight, then I shall happily take you into my service. Ah, well. Hmm. What does that displease you? Not at all. I just need a little time to think it over. His eye for the arts is unwavering, but in all other matters he is woefully indecisive. And you are genuinely full of yourself. But you are also genuinely kind, so I guess there's a good comparison with Catherine. Oh, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> Hello, Catherine. A moment of your time. Oh, it's you. Yes? That sword you wear upon your hip, how did you come by it, exactly? I don't appreciate your tone. Are you implying I swiped it off someone? Not at all. But Hero's relics are typically passed down through the bloodlines of the Ten Elites. You are descended from a noble family, are you not? That's none of your business. Hmm. Actually, Let's say I was a nobody, with no relic, no crest. I would still be me, wouldn't I? True. That's not to say lineage counts for nothing. It just doesn't count as much as how you live your life and what you live for. 
I agree or, with that. Let's say I was descended from some noble house. Would that change how you treat me? Yes, it would. To treat you differently from the common folk would only be appropriate. You're I disagree. So narrow -minded, I agree with that too. Antiquated notions. But the nobility and the common folk are different. How? If you did not have capabilities to set them apart from the many, then they would not be the few. I'm gonna put it this way. I'm gonna put it this way. Inheriting money, property, material possessions, I can understand, but a person should not inherit a position of power. I do not like the notions of nobility. What makes a name more valuable than another? The actions of an, your ancestor do not transcend. You cannot inherit the actions of another. Just because one's father, grandfather, or great-grandfather was a war hero does not make their descendant a war hero. Wow. You really think nobles are better than everyone else, don't you? I didn't mean to suggest... You pay so much attention to people's lineage and status that you have no idea who they actually are. Thank if you! I was from the prestigious house whatever, I would never associate with a blowhard like you. <laughs> oh, blowhard has, uh... It's, it, the source of that phrase is not very nice. <laughs> Damn, Catherine, you are making me like you. Ignatz and Hilda, as well as Leone. You stealing my girl's point, Dexter? Don't be stealing my girl. Hey, Ignatz. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready to start cleaning? What? No, that's all right. Actually, I'm just finishing up. Oh, it's true. Look how tidy everything is. You've done such a marvelous job. I'm glad I didn't get in your way. I really don't like you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, anyway, you can go now. Hmm? You were talking to your friend, right? I just have some things to put away. It's okay, I can manage without you. It's like, this oh-so-air-headed personality. I don't like that personality, okay? I don't. Maybe there's more to her. Maybe there isn't. I'm gonna find out. Oh, it nuts. I thought I saw someone earlier. That was you, wasn't it? You know, I'd have been willing to help. You could have just said, hey, let's go and clean. It's all right, you were having a conversation. You work... Do you like Ignatz? No, I'm going to see more of that, aren't I? I didn't want to sneak up like I was eavesdropping. And really, I didn't need help. Oh, Ignatz, you darling. You're so considerate. Thank you so very much. You Glad just seem so I'll fake! I'll all this away. Not so fast. Well, what's the matter? Aren't you overdoing it? Don't you think you might be taking on too much, hmm? Why? You are just so fake. I cannot stand a fake person. Oh, uh, I didn't expect to hear that from you. Let me give you some advice. It's true that I like to delegate as many tasks as I possibly can. That's one way of putting but it. when someone helps me, I make sure to lavish them with praise as a reward for their hard work. So, then we come out even. On the other hand, look what almost happened just now. Okay, so you appreciate people doing your work for you. But my god, you are fake. You did all that work for me, and I almost missed it. Now, where would that leave you? With no praise, no thanks. You'd be losing out. Um, personally, I'd prefer to lose out rather than inconvenience someone else. For instance, I'd have felt terrible for intruding on your important conversation earlier. Consider the negligible loss to me versus the major inconvenience to you. Personal loss is always going to be the better choice. Right? Uh... Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, then I'm not sure how to convince you otherwise. Is there a spark of romance between those two? We are going to find out. Raphael! And Marianne. I'm really hoping Marianne can support with one of the 
clap with one of the Academy's professors so I can make the joke of the professor and Mary Ann. <laughs> I hope somebody gets that. I hope somebody gets that All reference. All my favorite dishes are on the menu today. I might have grabbed too much. You want some? No thanks. I. All you've got on your plate are leaves. Are you sure that'll fill you up? <laughs> I'm I have to go. Huh? You're already done eating? But there's still food on your plate. Hey, Marianne. Huh? Maybe she's not feeling well. I should probably go check on her later. Oh, is that so? I'm so happy you found all of that food. A little gray starling told me that you can find berries if you fly out toward the mountain. Can you talk with animals? Oh, I found Marianne. I don't know if she spent her time here. It sounds like she's talking to someone. What's that? You want she to try can. some nectar from the flowers in the greenhouse? That might be tricky. I guess you could try it if I'm already there. Otherwise, you might get locked in. Hey, Marianne. Who are you talking to? <gasps> huh? Oh, the birdie flew off. <laughs> you it big, is. lovable doofus. <laughs> oh, I like. Doing, Raphael? Raphael. You were acting a little strange when we were eating earlier. Yeah, I was talking so to in a Discord you. server, said he didn't. Uh, it's just He's a very one-note character. I can see where he's coming from on that, but I love this guy. Sure? Well, that's good to hear. As long as... Wait a minute. Were you just talking to a bird? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you big lovable doofus. <laughs> I knew it. You can talk to birds. I'm right, aren't I? Uh... Um, yes. That's incredible. You might hear a you fan running. It's getting hot. Folks. It's springtime it in Texas. So that no, means it's it. gonna get warm, it's gonna stay warm, and then it's gonna get cold again. Then it's gonna get warm again, and then it's gonna get cold again. Then warm again, and then cold. And it's gonna repeat that pattern until probably May or June. Because... That's Texas. Ignaz and Leone. Don't be stealing- oh, you can support with Mercedes, Ingrid, Horse Flame, Shamir, that's interesting, Cyril, Petra. Who really reminds me of Starfire. Oh, Professor, here's the map you... Well, it's always next time, I suppose. I don't remember if I... I don't know if I've seen hey, this one Ignorance. or not. Didn't you have something to talk to the Professor about? Oh, no, nothing urgent. You didn't cut short your conversation because of me, did you? You gotta Come be on. bolder, Ignatz. Do I seem like the type to do that? No, I just had a couple of questions about the bows. We're done now, so I thought I'd come and tell you. The bows? Is something wrong with them? Lots of them have come in for repairs lately, so I switched out some of the strings for stronger ones. They've been breaking less, but now they're harder to draw. I think I have oh, seen I this see. one. I suppose people would prefer if you went back to the lighter bow strings. Maybe. If the only issue was the draw weight, I'd just tell people to get stronger arms. But well the said. The is that you can't shoot as fast. The arrows also fly too far now. I can see how slower shooting is a drawback, but the arrows flying farther, that actually sounds like a good thing. Sure, on open planes, but up close you lose accuracy. That's why I thought it might be good to use different bowstrings for different scenarios. There you go. Yeah, I've seen this one, but I'll let oh, it play out. Point. You know a lot about bows, don't you? Yes, I do. I grew up in a hunting village, so I've been around them my whole life. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily better than anyone, but at least I know what I'm doing. And you? Do you have something you're really good at? <laughs> Me? Oh no, I, I don't think so. Well, I'm sure you'll find your thing someday. I hope so. You gotta get bolder, kid. Marianne in Lysithia. Um... Lysithia? What's all this commotion? What's happening? There's been an accident at the training grounds. A spell gone amok. Come on, we need all the help we can get over there. Oh no, but I don't know how I... We could really use your help before things get out of hand. Come on, hurry! I... I don't think I would be much help. Oh, for the goddess's sake! You won't know unless you try, will you? 
don't decide you're of no use without even giving it a shot. Fine then. Forget it. I'll go on my own. You can just stand here and stare at the wall. Oh, I... Cynthia, don't be so mean. <sighs> I took it too far. You think? Hey, um, Marianne, do you have a minute? Listen, I'm sorry about all the stuff I said earlier. The situation was urgent, and I'll admit I wasn't thinking clearly. I shouldn't have been so callous. I hurt your feelings, didn't I? Yes. I'm fine. I'm the one to blame. No, you're huh? not. Hey, are you sure you're all... I'm the one who should apologize. All I did was get in your way. You would have made it to the training grounds much sooner if I hadn't slowed you down. Huh? Wait a second. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. The accident was probably my fault, too. No, it wasn't. So... negative. I don't know what to say. You poor, precious child. Ash and Oh, Marianne. It will take some time for before you can deepen this bond like 5 years. We've seen this one, so I won't waste your time with it. Felix and Hilda. But they can only get to a B. That's a little disappointing. Hey there, Hilda. You're looking cute today. Thanks. You're looking quite handsome yourself. You know exactly how to talk to a guy. I like it. What's with all the books? Oh, these? I was just bringing them to... Uh, ouch! Ouch! What's wrong? Did you hurt your foot? Uh, yeah, I tripped earlier. But I'm supposed to return these books to the library by the end of the day. Relax. I'm sure there's a handsome guy around here who knows how to carry books to the library. You rest your foot. I'll take care of this. Oh, no, that's all right. You must have something more important to do. Nothing is more important than helping you. Just pile the books on that desk, and I'll get them where they're going. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you so, so much. You it's are so, so I'm fake. Wow. That is a lot of books. I'll just leave them right here for you. Thanks again, Sylvain. You're the best. Wait a minute. Some of these books have dust on them. She's been holding onto these for months. The professor was looking for this one a few weeks ago. Hilda. Hang on. Did she just trick me into doing something she didn't want to do? Yes, she did. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I do the month's mission. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off. What does Sothis have to say? This monastery is more dangerous than I expected. <clears throat> it's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. And there may be others of questionable character about as well. If you ask me, there is something amiss about that old man, Tomas. Okay.